Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the role of lipids and the test for lipids, parts of your A-level biology. Now there are lots of different things that you need to remember in this and if you want a little bit of help remembering everything then over my website there are thousands of multiple choice questions just waiting for you. Lipids are not polymers, unlike proteins and carbohydrates but they contain the same elements, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. They are insoluble in water, which means one of the ways we can test for them is the formation of an emulsion, the emulsion test for lipids. But they can be soluble in organic solvents such as alcohol or acetone. Lipids have a number of roles within bodies. In the cells, they are part of the cell membranes, both at the cell surface and the membranes around the individual organelles. The phospholipid bilayer is important for helping transfer lipid soluble components across the membrane as well as maintaining flexibility. They are important for protection, layers of fat surrounding our delicate internal organs, protecting them from external damage. They are important for waterproofing us. Since lipids are insoluble in water, they can act as waterproofing, an effect in both animals and plants. Leaves have waxy cuticles to prevent water loss, and animals have sebaceous glands in their skin releasing oils. Lipids are important for insulation. They are a poor conductor of heat, so they will help to stop heat escaping and keep bodies warm. They are an important energy store. Lipids can release large amounts of energy compared to an equivalent carbohydrate. Importantly, they also release water. You will generally find that fats are solid at room temperature, whereas oils are generally liquid at room temperature. Fats and oils are triglycerides. That is one type of lipid. The other type of lipid you need to know about are phospholipids. You need to know how to test a sample for lipids and this is the emulsion test for lipids. To a clean, dry test tube, add roughly two centimeters cubed of your sample. Follow that up by adding roughly five centimeters cubed of ethanol. Shake it to dissolve the sample in the ethanol. Add a further five centimeters cubed of water and shake it again. A positive result will show as the solution going cloudy. The more lipid that is present in the sample, the cloudier it could go. Now, it going cloudy is a qualitative test. You can say yes or no. In the exam, you might be asked about improvements to this, and you could use a colorimeter to turn it into a quantitative test. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.